guys, John Faulkner here, and joined with me today is Angry American. And uh, what we're going to do is, is every week or two, we're just going to talk about new gear that we're kind of cycling through and testing. And this is the products that have passed the test and made it into whatever system they go into. Yep. Well, yeah, the stuff we're actually going to use, carry, keep around. Um, yeah. Because you, you were always buying stuff. Yeah. It, you know, you're and, always looking for the next best, best mouse trap. And, so. you, and, you, and you see a lot of unboxing videos and stuff online. I'm not a fan I, of those. I don't know. It's opening mail. Yeah. Um, but these are things that we've utilized for quite a while uh, and either just bought new ones to show you guys on camera yep. what they look like, uh, but they've, they've found their way into our system. So um, I'll start with uh, these, uh, these pliers that I got. Those are fantastic. As They're an electrician. I use those. These are called Nipix. Okay, yeah. they're they're similar to channel locks, uh, but they're a little bit better quality. They're German made, so you know it, if you like that, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But it is. If what you don't it is. like German engineering, you're wrong. Um, That's all I'm saying. What I love about these is the fact that they have this push button in order to make them adjustable, and then they stick no matter what. So if you leave one hand, um, but these actually find their way, and I think these are the 10 inch versions, 10 or 11 inch versions. We'll make sure we leave an Amazon link for these. Um, there are a they're a big beefy pair of pliers. Yes, they are. I can get on a half inch wrench if yep. I need to, or a half inch bolt if I need to. Yep. Um, I can open this thing way up if I need to get on a pipe. Um, all the way down to you know you can close these things. The back is big enough that I have a good size hammer if yep. I needed it. And these things have been worth their weight in gold. They're in my a quality EDC bag. tool. They're a quality yeah. tool. The, the, in, in, I like channel lock pliers and stuff, but these are just a little bit higher quality. Uh, the tolerances in the front of, of the teeth are fine enough that you can get something real thin, yeah. uh, like a sheet of metal or something like that, if you really had to hold on, pry it out, things like that. Um, but, you know, we carry a lot of multi-tools. Yeah. We carry Leatherman and stuff, and I love <clears throat> Leatherman, but as soon as you pop the hood of a car, there's not much that no. Leatherman pliers, needle, little needle nose pliers no. do, no. where these things are just, man, they just yeah. go to town. Yeah. So, um, so I just, I have, like, love these things. They're great. Like I said, when I was an electrician, I was real fond of the German tools, and I and I carried a number of German-made tools, and Nipix was one of the things that I carried yeah. over just regular channel locks. So, uh, but yeah, I mean, people say like all the time, like what's kind of some of the weird stuff that you keep in your EDC bag. Uh, these pliers. Um, this would be great just in the in the car. I yeah. Mean, you know, if you had to have like one tool to throw in there, that's pretty good. Yeah. So, uh, so that's one thing that that has kind of worked its way in. So, what you got today? Well, I brought the the Snug Pack Jungle Blanket XL. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a huge fan of the Wooby. Mm -hmm. uh, I love my poncho liners, and and at home, me and Mel, we both sleep with a poncho liner on the bed. Mm -hmm. We don't get under the comforter together. She's like a furnace. I don't want to deal with the heat, you know. But um, I ordered one of these to try it out, and I was I was extremely impressed. Um, Mel tried it, said it was too warm for her. She didn't like it in the house um, until she tried it another night and decided she did like it and then took mine, so I had to order more of these things. Um, this is a 90 by 70 blanket. Um, it's a little higher loft than a poncho liner. Um, but it's also bigger than a poncho liner. I mean, I can get under this thing. I can wrap up in this thing. Nothing sticks out. It's awesome. Um, it is wind resistant and water resistant, and it is also treated with, um, what do they call this stuff they treat it with? Paratex. So it's antimicrobial. So they call this a jungle blanket, so it's an alternative to a sleeping bag when you're in really warm climates. You know, it's not super thick, um, but it does have a loft to it. Um, and in my house, this thing is fantastic. I sleep with it year-round. Uh, winter, summer, whatever, this is what I use. And it's big enough, like I said, that it, you can get wrapped up in this thing. So for summertime, um, in my bag, now my poncho liner went away, and these are what I'm carrying. Uh -huh. I've ordered a bunch of them now so that I have one for everybody in the house because um, I'm a big fan. I mean, this thing really is comfortable. It does a great job. It packs down into this little stuff sack really nice, um, and it's a, it's a great alternative to the poncho liner. You know, the poncho liners, the problems they have is, the ties on the corners, if yeah. you're using it on a daily basis, like in bed, like I said, that's what I sleep with, they're a pain in the butt. And then all the stitching that holds the quilting in place, those come apart. Yeah. And, um, you get wads. And you, or you get them between your toes mm -hmm. or wrapped around other parts of your body that you don't want them wrapped around. <laughs> Tell, I woke up the other night, that was not fun. Um, so that's why I had to get more of these things ordered. But, um, but yeah, Snug Pack, they're a great company anyway. You know, they're out of the UK. Um, unfortunately, this blanket is made in China. But it has a snug pack it, warranty. They stand behind it. So and these things come in different colors, different sizes, different. Yeah, weights. this this is the XL jungle blanket. Um, 
like I said, I'm a I'm a huge fan. I was sold, and so like in my kit for my for the summertime now, I have my Cortex Bivy and this guy. Yeah, that's it. Cool. You know? So it takes a lot of space out. Get rid of the sleeping bags. Uh -huh. So, but yeah, I want to show you guys that. I think this thing's really cool. So. My last one is uh, an item that I'm starting to incorporate more and more uh, into get home bags. I love those. And, and I've got a bunch like of them. So this is a uh, USB uh, battery charger for AA batteries, CR123, rechargeable AA or CR123 batteries. Or 18650s. 18650s. Whatever. Anything pretty much that's rechargeable. Uh, the cool thing about this, unlike most chargers, most chargers like the really good one from Olight and things like that, uh, they're really small, plug them into a USB and charge the batteries. The cool thing about these is it's actually a uh, reverse. Yeah, it'll go both ways. So it'll go both ways. So you can hook up a battery that has power into it. And on this end, there's the regular male that you can charge with, but on the back side, there's a female USB that you can plug in your cell phone, yep. you can plug in a GPS, anything that you would need to get power. Um, so, you know, it's one of those things where you could have a battery, you know, you could have uh, two extra 18650s sitting in your bag, but no way to get that power out of it to another device yep. other than, say, your flashlight. Yep. So with one of these, it's, it's kind of a universal uh, item in the fact that you can use it as a wall charger. Um, I also keep one of these in my EDC bag because just in case my battery bank or something goes yep. dead, I always have an extra 18650 that if I needed just an emergency phone call, I needed to get my phone running again because it was dead for some reason, um, you know, I can just pull out, I can even take the battery out of my actual flashlight if I yeah, needed to. Yeah, to. Plug it in there, uh, plug the USB, charge my iPhone. So it's a, it's a power supply as power much supply, as it is yeah. chargers, and and which is great. And, and got, I have these too. I use the same exact one. Yeah, and, and we'll leave a link to it below. And it's got an LED light in it, so it'll you know be green when yeah. it's actually charging, red when it's and and when it goes reverse, uh, it'll go red when the battery starts to get right. depleted, so you don't deplete it all the way. So just a really cool piece of of gear that you know I've put into to some of my bags lately, yep. uh, just because it almost makes a redundancy yep. item, you know, well, it's, and, and, it, it, and it multiplies the functions of the items. I was going to say, it, instead of having just a charger, now you have, it, it's multifunction. It can yep. charge and become a power supply should you need it. And this is great too, if like you run like the Goal Zero stuff or whatever, you know, now they're coming with the sealed battery packs that yep. have USB ports on them. Well, you can still charge your 18650s or yep. AA's or whatever. Plug this thing right into the power pack, now it's charging. So it's a fantastic little piece of kit to add to. So yeah, bag. so check them out if you're interested. And uh, and like I said, we're going to be doing these more often. And yeah. I know these aren't like the sexiest items ever, but these are actually items that we use yeah. on a regular basis, and yeah. they've made a huge impact into uh, what we're trying to accomplish. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this thing here changed part of my system. Poncho liners are gone. Yeah, and snug pack jungle blankets are in. So you never know until you try this stuff. And and I ordered one on a lark. And like I said, I fell in love with it. I, I really do like this thing a lot. So, so guys, if you like this video, uh, make sure you hit the like button. If you got any other comments with regards to this gear or anything else, feel free to leave them below. We'll definitely make sure we answer them. And until next time, be safe. See you guys later.